Hi friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. Today we're in the car, we're doing a little bit of a chit chat. Don't mind the bags in the back. I went to Crate and Barrel, I did some damage. What can I say, have you guys ever been to Crate and Barrel? It's aesthetically pleasing and a really big weakness of mine. We're at Starbucks. We're gonna do like a fun drink today. Let's see. Let's just, the breeze I can choose, huh? Hi, thank you um, can I have a grande of uh, your favorite drink? You can make anything you want. You said a latte of my favorite drink? Uh, a, a grande of whatever favorite drink you like. A grande? Okay, perfect. I'll go ahead. Did you want that ice or hot? Ice, please. Wait, wait, wait. I have an important question. How diabetic can I make you? Oh, I tell. <laughs> you can make it whatever you want. <laughs> Are you a sweet dude? Um, I can be. I'm open to it. <laughs> Are you willing to be shaking for the amount of caffeine I'm about to douse this thing with? Sure, sure, you can, yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Join the Heart Attack Club. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Oh my God, it's 333. You guys, I've been experiencing some crazy shit. Let me just tell you about the crazy shit I've been going through. By the way, if you're expecting like an eating video today, it's not gonna be it. It's gonna be of me catching you up on what's been going on in life. Anyways, uh, yeah, every time I look at the clock, it's like 222, 333, 444, 555. It's so crazy. And I heard that whenever you look at the clock and you see triple digits like that, it's spirits trying to communicate with with you if you don't believe any of that shit you're probably laughing at me right now but trust me I believe in that shit okay I believe in that shit I also believe in ghosts too if you guys oh, do you guys believe in ghosts I'm always curious I believe in ghosts because I've experienced a few paranormal stuff not bad good paranormal stuff that till this day still give me the goosebumps but it makes me believe that there's something on the other side of life you guys I wonder what they're gonna make me he said that he's gonna make me something very caffeinated I should have said that I like sweet drinks, huh? But I wanted them to choose, you know, what to make me. By the way, hello, the coldest water bottle. I bring it everywhere with me, you guys. It's been hot tamale outside lately, so I always have the water bottle with me. Hello. Today is a chill day. Um, Michelle's birthday is tomorrow, so I have a bunch of errands to be running. Whew. I'm not gonna tell you guys what we're doing for Michelle's birthday because I don't know when this video is going up and I don't wanna spoil it if it does go up like tomorrow before she comes. But Carlos and I have been planning this birthday thing for Michelle for about a week and a half, two weeks now. We've switched it up so much and we finally decided to do this and it's gonna be really fun. My best friend Brooke, uh, from LA is coming down as well if you guys you guys have met Brooke before and I believe like a uh, Fire noodle video. I've known Brooke since I was 11 years old you guys super young We grew up together in Pennsylvania and then we both went our separate ways for college And then we ended up I ended up moving to California after college and then she ended up moving to Florida And then she got a job in LA so she's been living in LA for a few years now So it's been really cool that you know, we were reunited, but she's coming down to join us She's also really close with Michelle I'm so grateful that like all of my like um, close people are also like close with each other. It's like really awesome. But birthday tomorrow, Sunday we're going up to the house uh, to see what's up there. Cause we're gonna show, Brooke is sleeping over and we're gonna take Brooke with us cause she hasn't seen the house yet. So we're gonna take Brooke on Sunday. And then next weekend is my birthday. I'm turning 27, it feels so crazy to say that. I remember I was just turning 23. Do you guys, was it 23 or 25? It was 23. Do you guys remember my 23rd birthday when I threw like a birthday party and I invited all of my subscribers? It was so much fun. Leave a comment down below if you guys remember going to my birthday party when I was 23. When I was 23, I threw a birthday party. I invited my subscribers and we donated all the money to breast cancer awareness because it was October. But you guys, good times, good times. You guys were a little too bright. How is it now? <sighs> we're almost there. What do you think they'll give us? I'm very, very excited. So he made you a nitro cold brew with sweet cream. He puts uh, six pumps of vanilla and extra caramel drizzle. Did you guys hear that order? Because um, I got too nervous and I have no idea what she just told me, but this sounds really intense. And there's like no ice in here, which I'm very, very sad about. You guys know I love my ice. I'm gonna take a sip right now because I'm very, very curious. Oh my god. 
Oh, oh, you guys. Whoa, it's so good. But I can already tell that my heart is gonna beat like crazy in about five minutes. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, you guys. It's so good though. I actually don't mind it. It's pretty darn good. Are you guys too bright? I'm so sorry. It's so bright outside these days. I can only take little sips. Is anybody here? Because Kim Ta's coming. It's so creamy like so freaking creamy which i love when it comes to coffee i love when things are like a little bit more creamy than the like i like my oh sorry i like my sweet cream with a little bit of coffee that's how i like my drinks and i always get extra ice okay buckle up we're going for a ride you guys we are going for a ride so yeah that is what's going on in our lives is the camera shaking I'm so sorry. Is this giving you guys a headache? Oh, she's like really wiggling. She's like twerking right now. My camera is twerking. That is great. Let me turn it to here. Dude, I would be so scared to bike on a big road. Ooh, these houses are pretty. Damn, they got money. Oh, this tree is so... <gasps> Oh my god, I have to tell Carl. I love, okay, if you guys take Instagram video or Instagram pictures and you're into that stuff, you guys should really drive around because when you drive around, you find really cute places to take Instagram photos. Carlos and I used to like get in the car every weekend and just like take a drive and we'd be like, oh my god, that place is so cute to take pictures. I just love filming and hanging out with you guys. I think it's so much fun. I have a lot of really crazy things coming up. Not really crazy. Well, actually, I don't even know if I'm allowed, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about this yet, actually. It's not like a collaboration or anything, but there is this one company that I literally buy from from all the time and I order my stuff off this company all the time I religiously love them I have their app on my phone I buy everything off of this website and I'm so excited I got a sponsorship with them and I literally cried my eyes out I'm literally just driving just to let you guys know I got the sponsorship last month and I just signed with them today for the next three months it's gonna be a sponsorship on my Instagram and I think it's Instagram and YouTube I don't remember but I am so excited um it's such a dream come true. I have been wanting to work with them for so long and it's such a dream come true. So when you guys see, you guys will know. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. That little glare up here is really pretty. When you guys see it on Instagram, you guys will know. Hey, I think that's Michelle's church. <laughs> I'm like making like huge circles, but yes, I'm just so grateful you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and loving me. I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are amazing. Wow, the houses here are really big. I have never been back here, so I didn't know that they had such beautiful homes back here. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, oh my god. I gotta fill you guys in on the backyard for the new house. We finally signed with someone to do our backyard. We met with them last weekend. We went up to the house so they can measure the backyard and so I'm so glad that's over with because the backyard was giving me a lot of stress because backyards are just so expensive and I'm so lucky and thankful that we did not choose a lot with a huge backyard because to be completely honest we would not have had we we did not have the money to be remodeling a huge backyard I'm gonna be like straight up with you backyards are so expensive I forgot what I was saying because my camera decided to shut off which is great it's because I have my camera mounted in the front window so all the heat is making it overheat so it's totally understandable oh my god this orange tree is also super pretty how freaking cute but yeah we were just talking about Oh my god, that's funny. They had a flag up that says vote for anybody, any functioning adult for the election. Make sure you guys get out there and vote. That is very important. Your voice matters, so make sure you guys vote. Oh yeah, the backyard is expensive. And what I was saying was, you think you're just like buying a home, right? And like, obviously you have the down payment and you have closing costs and all of that. And then you move in and you really do need to save a good amount aside because there's just so many things that you naturally want to do. So I don't know how other new builds work, but for us, they basically are leaving the backyard up to us. So we get to 
work with land, the landscaper of our choice and we get to design the backyard and everything. And obviously this is my first home and Carlos's first home, so we had no idea what the price point for anything was gonna be, and we shopped around so much, but the really cool thing about our house is that we're working with subscribers, so I knew when the house was being built, I knew that I wanted to build a walk, like a custom walk-in closet because our closet is huge. If you guys have seen the house tour, the closet is gigantic. So I was like, oh my God, let's do a custom walk-in closet. Had no idea how much they cost. So I was shopping around and then I was like, and then obviously we have to do the backyard. And so I posted something on Instagram and I wanted to support you guys. At the end of the day, I wanted to support my subscribers. I wanted to work with small own businesses or like new businesses and the cool thing about our house is that the backyard is done by a subscriber um, a subscriber's husband so the subscribers name is Shayla and her husband's name is Willie and Willie does backyard landscaping stuff so I'm working with them and I'm really excited for that and then our closet is done by Jocelyn and Jocelyn's husband they just started like a brand new construction like custom pieces kind of thing so they're gonna be designing our walk-in closet and I'm so excited because they sent me the model of it and it looks absolutely beautiful you guys like stunning exactly what we were looking for their work is so beautiful and we're really excited for Willie to do our backyard our home has a lot of meaning to it I always wanted a home where like when you walk in you felt so warm and welcome and loved I didn't want a home that felt too much like a museum um, and it's totally okay that obviously people have different tastes. At the end of the day, it's your house. You can do whatever you want to your house, you know, whatever makes you happy. But I didn't want a home that just like looked too polished and like looked too, I don't know if this makes sense, like I've never really been into those like uh, kind of like, um, I don't know, like when people put up like statues and stuff or like artwork, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's never really been my style, so I just really wanted a home that had a lot of meaning and so, you know, having, supporting you guys and your businesses and knowing that you guys had like, had a, a part of our home was really, really important to me. So I'm really excited for that. I'm so, so excited for that to come together. The backyard is going to take a few weeks, they said, and then the closet is gonna take two or three days. But when that happens, I'm gonna be vlogging the process. So it's gonna go on my other channel. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe to my other channel. They do such amazing work. So make sure you guys support them. I'll put their information once you know, they come and do stuff on the house. I mean, that's everything that's been going on. Um, just working hard, doing a lot of things on the side, getting ready for my birthday. November is next month and then it's Christmas. I can't believe it. I honestly hope you guys are having a great second half of the year, I hope. I, th I know like there's a little bit more things to do this year. The beginning of this year was rough, I think, for everybody, so I don't know. I'm gonna go to Target right now, actually. Carlos and I have to go to Target because we have to get a bunch of things for Michelle's birthday. So, I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. I will see you guys then. Bye!